right. Shut up. Shut up. This is actually insane. No, 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 no. I can't believe that this is real. I cannot believe this is actually happening. There's no way, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what a turn four. What? Hey, buddy, watch this. Yeah, I think Shinvala magic tricks are pretty cool. Depending on what kind of paladin this is, probably Murlocs, right? We may need some early uh, plays. We may just have to drop the Shinvala naked well to contest Murlocs, right? I don't need violent spelling here. Killing off the front half of this Murloc is fine, and the arcane missiles could potentially do some work in the future as well. A lot of one health Murlocs that tend to linger around. And if it all changes all that, but it's cool. All good. Do we want a Ray of Frost right now? Man, this is such a sick combo. Oh my god, four mana, we could go nuts. I think that said we just chill. Make some room by the hearth, won't ya? This is gonna die anyway. We're gonna take some potential damage here, maybe. Hidden Hearth, thanks for the uh, gifted sub. Grats in Burke. Oh yeah, mobile, it may not show as much. I don't know how mobile works exactly. Unclear on that. Earned Draconic's actually not a bad thing to get here. It, it's sadly not gonna get buffed at all next turn, but <laughs> that's okay. So we go Chinvala, Coin, uh, Sorcerers, and then we just go nuts, right? We hopefully can get uh, enough spells here. Look at Warrior's pretty good in general. Maybe not at the exact moment right now, but. So uh, in particular, I think we clear one of these first. That's number three, and then hopefully I get a playable spell off this, right? To get a second 5-5. Five, five. Arcane Missiles again is just fantastic. Okay, these should hopefully clear up the remaining two Murlocs. Two face hits really sucks. That's good, though. Oh, nice! Okay, sweet. We just have the 1-1 one, one now, which does obviously not contest a board of two 5-5s, five, a 2-5, five, and a 3-2 particularly well. Especially right now, if the Source of Prince can live, which, you know, there's the weapon, there's buffs, there's a lot of things that can kill this. But if it were to live, well, I guess we don't have a lot of spells in hand, so maybe we can't go off again, but Arcane Intellect makes that possible. Bluegill trades there outside of a Cold Light Seer. Could maybe go Intellect, Bluegill. Oh, just Consecration, wow, okay. That's still not that bad, though, because the Tide Collar is just stranded, just dead. Maligos seems fine. Yeah. It feels weird, I'll admit, but the tome can give me burn damage, and since we're kind of turning the corner and going face a lot, it, it seems um, pretty nice. It, well, I even have two extra damage here with Blue Guild Warriors, so all in all, just the opportunity to kind of ignore his minions and go face is, I think, how we win this game. I mean, God, he's not even... I'm, I'm going to deal 14. I just have lethal now. I just have lethal. I just have lethal. <laughs> <laughs> Blue Guild thing is just lethal. Okay, easy game. Cool. That was fun. <laughs> what is that? Sex crazy. Nobody has to be mad. It's all good. We're all friends. I like both games, for instance. You know? I enjoy all the games. I just like video games, I think. I, I find myself just liking every game I play lately. All right, we got a fast start warrior here. Chinvala in the hand again with uh, Apprentice. Th this is just wild. We keep getting this crazy opener for this turn five play. I don't know if we're like guaranteed to draw Chinvala or what, but it just keeps happening. I don't know how. Like, what's happening here? We've rigged the game in our favor somehow. I will say the one thing that kind of sucks about it is that we are often, um, we are kind of stalling out our early game by playing for this. So we have to make sure the swing turns are worth it. I also sort of regret not pinging that 2-3 one time. 
to set up the Ray of Frost clear on it. Like, it's going to be frozen anyway, so it may not really matter, but I do wish it was a little damaged. Maybe we'll find, like, a... Oh, didn't matter. Okay. Scratch that, then. All right. Let's see here. Start with magic trick. Arcane. Oh no, another magic trick's better usually, right? I mean, not always because the breakpoints might not line up. Oh my god, you're kidding me. Could have arguably taken that Ray of Frost, but I just. Oh my god, shut up. Shut up. This is actually insane. No, 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 no. I can't believe that this is real. I cannot believe this is actually happening. There's no way, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't get the final spell though. No! <laughs> um, or was this the final spell? Maybe it was actually. I'm gonna take some value, I think, guys. We have a lot of play. Oh, it was the final spell. <laughs> what a turn four. What? <laughs> turn four i just played like 20 cards what just happened i don't know how many cards i actually played but that's a 20 20 no so <laughs> i summoned hold up hold up hold up how i summoned so that was 2020 that's another five and seven uh so i summoned a 25 27 minion Cleared my opponent's board. I maybe I, did, I left one minion technically, but I dealt a ton of damage. I added a lot of value to my hand with the power of creation. That's one of the best turns I've ever taken in standard. I like this. Um, I like this mulligan pretty well. Appreciate it. Good start with the spell wing. I don't think we can tempo an apprentice uh, against rogue. Right, rogue just has way too many ways to deal with it sufficiently. I mean, we're looking at seal fates and and. Uh, Backstabs and three ones. <laughs> That's a lot of things here contesting that. I think a prison observer is great though to get down. I'm gonna be playing from behind, it seems, so this feels perfect right now. That four five will be pretty nasty when it comes out as well. A cruel fate awaits you in the ashes. Bump bump bump. Magic Trick isn't quite as egregious as Dragon Queen Alex. Uh, true, true. Magic Trick loops aren't as bad as Dragon Queen. So hers was certainly a, a good change. I mean, I think that I think we all agreed that that change was a healthy change. But nonetheless, uh, I think other cards being limited in that way could prevent those kind of infinite loops. It happens a lot with the Explorer Dragons too, right? The, the Explorer Dragons seem to explore into themselves and then you kind of just get to play a card for free that doesn't actually use any resources. Then again, Hearthstone in general has gotten like so resource free. Like like back in the day, getting a card was really hard to do. There were a lot of resource checks in Hearthstone that don't exist today. So in general, I guess we have just that kind of resource bloat going on. Big board, man. Didn't build towards the Draconic at all, but it's going to take a while anyway. There are those crazy loops like we just did, right? King of Pixel, thanks for the 10 months, man. Ramp here seems fairly low utility. Maybe a... Oh, just a secret, huh? So that looks like a bamboozle to me. Um, This is still 8 mana, huh? We may have to trade into this the hard way. I don't know. Let's see what it bamboozles into. There's some, there's some, some bad rolls, I guess. Um... Oh. <laughs> oh, well, um, I think I'm going to try to find like a Frostbolt before I commit the trade. Evocation again? This is kind of nuts, right? I'm going to go ahead and rip this since it's free, basically. Well, not basically. It, it's legit free. Uh, there's the Frostbolt. Okay, cool. And we can Ray of Frost the other. So he's going to burn about a jillion cards. Oh yeah, there go all the cards. flick has gone. Okay, this is really cheap, but I'm going to wait on the next evocation. I think we can do more, right? 
So I played the Spellbender because he has no minions on board for the Flame Ward. Uh, there are some Spellbender advantages in Rogue, right? He burned a Flick, a Faceless, an Eviscerate, a Swamp Ooze, a Arrow Cat, and a Dragon's Horde. Okay. Well, he used it anyway, so. <laughs> He's just testing Counterspell. He was going to buff one of my minions regardless, so. That animation build seemed very delayed, eh? That was weird. That was kind of odd. <laughs> Look at the Octo Sprite. Octo Sorry, copy pasta in chat. I love you guys. <laughs> Perfect. It's great. Thank you, chat. How delightful. Okay. Mm, this turn's feeling a little flat, huh? Mana Giant, I guess, makes any turn kind of decent, but I'm not in love with it yet. I, I guess we're going to get a 6-6 six, six if we want to force that, which isn't too bad. Oh, if I play this, though, I'm not playing Mana Giant, huh? I guess Mana Giant's coming down next turn anyway. I'm getting a 6-6 six, six regardless, so whatever. It works out. This is really good draw, too. Oh, uh, no, this isn't. This kind of, oh, no. Elemental Allies, you know, we can actually proc that right now. Yeah, I think I think we'll try for that next turn. I'm gonna go face. Rogue has trouble dealing with that, right? Like if we create a lot of face pressure, sometimes they just kind of fall over and die. I, I do leave up a little bit of damage, but we saw that he lost an eviscerate, so I'm thinking perhaps his total reach or damage output's a little lower than it might otherwise be expected to see. Now that said, he does have Zephyrus probably. So Zephyrus could be a bit of a pickle. Seamount's also a really good answer to the 6-6, six, six, unfortunately. I think that means he's, oh, he's gonna kill both. I like that play too, yeah, that's really good. That's a sneaky good play. So yeah, that's more damage, which is cool, but I am getting hit really hard here. Man, I kind of don't like getting hit so hard, but I also want to send nine to the face. <laughs> you know, I'm a little tempted. Let's just play for Cobalt Spellkin. See what happens. I'll just Ray of Frost for now. That's fine. This creates, of course, a, a lot of uh, onboard pressure since we're sitting at 11 with 9 damage in hand, right? I could go pretty nuts. Plus, the Ray of Frost means I can just sort of stall out. I'm almost surprised. Um, oh, Cobalt Spellkin is in this list. I was like, man, where did that come from? It is in the list. That's a really good addition. I think Cobalt Spellkin fits this deck very nicely. Urban Lioness, I don't know. I guess you could try. I, I certainly don't know the pronunciation intricacies of the boss. Uh, man, we get a lot less viewers at night, I'm realizing. Well, I don't know. It's still actually pretty early in the stream. I, I think it's it's less viewers than normal, but um, I haven't really streamed it like a, a true night stream in a while. Maybe the expectations just aren't there that I'll be around. He's going to trade in his 5-4. Wow. Okay. Mistakes were made. No, he's not. Why can't he? Wait, wait what? Testing you, woo. Why was that a mistake? What's happening? What did he not want to do? Oh, I don't know what his thought was there. Something seems to have gone south, but I don't know what it was. Um. Hey, it seemed to work. Yeah, look at us. It seemed to work, huh? Perfect. It does seem like we can probably just set up for next turn with Azure Explorer and Frostbolt. I think I want to burn all these Ray of Frost for, um, for the evocation. Just see what's in the evocation, right? I I'm going to try to play it like a little more straight here. I don't think we're like running out of time yet because I'm drawing more spells. I think we're just going to kind of play for like a stall. This actually works fine. Crossbow face there to lock out the weapon, stall any damage output. This just gives me fireball ping or Azure Explorer ping, whatever. Doesn't matter. Somehow it denies my ping. I don't know how that would happen in standard right now, but. Oh, now we just need to dodge Nozari. I think only Nozari here. I guess the 8 heal guy is kind of a problem too, although the 8 8 would still be able to attack, so that would be a net zero. Yeah, that worked out. Should have probably played the. Um, Element a little sooner to make our decisions better, but I kind of forgot about it to be honest. Oh, weird. That ha happened to Trump just now, too. Interesting. I wonder if that's something that happens game wide. I've always wondered what causes that. It seems like, oh, maybe Trump and I queued up against each other. What's Trump's? What's Trump's rank? We don't know. Maybe, maybe we were each other's opponents. Oh, that'd be delightful. I'd love to play against Trump right now. 
Like, Trump and I really haven't played against each other much now that I think about it. Like, we've been at a lot of events and stuff, but we've rarely, like, played each other directly. It's been, like, Battlegrounds or solo adventure stuff. We didn't play Nomi, that's right. I wanted to get a Nomi game, and I don't think we ever got one, did we? As I remember it, that's... I just coined the Imprisoned Observer. Yeah. I have to get it down sooner rather than later. It, it does sort of give the Demon Hunter a read, like, oh, well, I can't play my two health stuff. Which isn't great, but he may not have anything to do otherwise anyway. Sometimes you just kind of have to do it regardless. Like, does he hold a satyr now, right? Like, satyr was his natural curve here. Do I hold a satyr? Do I play a satyr? Uh, that's, that's the question, right? Zobo Priest. <laughs> Oh man, he had the outcast and spectral sight as a backup plan though, to hold the board a little. See if he forgets to hero power. I would. I'd forget. Oh, nope. Some other play. Oh, a fell wing coming in. Even though it's a two health breakpoint. Okay. He can still hero power, I guess, but. Wow, if I had an apprentice right now, oh my god, we'd be able to go nuts. Um, I think I'm just gonna lock this up and play the spell wing. It, it just seems silly to waste a lot of resources on it when we know it's gonna die sort of next turn. Highlander right? hunter or self just damage seems, warrior. Seems silly. Highlander hunter or self damage warrior. I I like. Well, I don't know if I'd call it self damage warrior. I guess because it's your minions. Well, I guess for Battle Rage you damage, you want to damage yourself. But anyway, I, I like I like uh, Enraged Warrior stuff better, personally. I, I like that playstyle a lot, actually. Tremudius. And thanks for the bits, dude. I think Highlander Hunter's fun, too. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I like kind of a mid-range hunter in general. I think I think um, that's a pretty pure way to play Hearthstone these days. Like, low RNG, just play on curve. Like, yes, you do some pretty crazy things sometimes. There's no question about that. Like, how much do I trust this? Probably not that much. I just don't really want to use the Frostbolt on a minion. They threw away the Fell discount. Of did he drop a Fell Wing for nothing? Oh my god, you're right. He did. Why did he play a Fell Wing last turn for no advantage? I mean, it literally did nothing. I mean, maybe it opened up some outcast space. Hello, so we shouldn't say it did nothing. We don't know for sure that it did nothing. But it, it seems like it did nothing. Let's see how this rolls. If it kills it, we play Chinvala. If it doesn't kill it... <sighs> wow. Um, okay, that's... I was gonna ping it, of course, if, if it just got hit once. I did not want to use the Frostbolt, and I don't want to use the Ray of Frost either, so... Uh, it's, if he plays Priestess of I think we're just dead. Otherwise, we might have time here, but I lost my face freeze. I don't want to use my Ray of Frost. I think there's still total, more total value, personally, although that's debatable, I'd say. All right, I got to drop Chinvala here just to make him think about it. I can't get it off. Like, I can't play everything, right? But I just got to make him kill it. I need it, I need it to heal six right now. Another Ray of Frost, I, I think, is overkill. I need to find other things to do. Cancer's flow. I mean, whatever. It's fine. Hoping for, like, a deep freeze, but, you know. You used up all your, your luck in the previous game? Yeah, apparently so. That was a pretty sad set of rolls there, huh? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he wanted to drop the the felling for a for an outcast, guys. It's a, it's a logical decision, honestly. Like, it's not the craziest idea. Does he have the clean kill, or does he... Oh my god, he leaves it up? Oh my. Brave. He must be going for the kill soon, then, if that's the decision, right? You must be thinking... You're gonna end the game soon. Can't I can't get to an extra break point, so we're just gonna ping to clear. I mean, we set up for lethal here, right? We have eleven and four is is fifteen and six off the fireballs twenty one. I mean, he has to kill me this turn, which certainly not impossible for a demon hunter. I mean, that can happen. He's got four. He only needs seven damage from hand, so metamorphosis doesn't actually quite do it on its own. But he gets him close. Is so this gonna go face? He is, so he's gonna lose. Sorry, Pickle Rick 69. Oh, he's gonna win. He has to win slice. 
No! <laughs> Demon Hunter's cheat, dude! No! Twin Slice! All right, Frostbolt against Smurlocks might actually be fairly relevant. All right, this is fine. Murloc Paladin. His hand just got crazy. Okay. Love Violet Spellwing. Violet Spellwing is a pretty cool card, by the way. This is like a very mage feeling card. It, it, this is a good card design. Really simple. Uh, referential to like a classic mage card, you know. Ooh, Highlander Paladin, cool. Um, visually super cool looking, right? Like, um, so it matches the aesthetic of mage. It matches the flavor of mage. It, it feels balanced, but still competitive. A little bit RNG basis, I guess, of course, for arcane missiles there, but but that's that's true mage, right? That's just what mage is, so. It doesn't feel out of place or anything to me. Still going to rip this Observer and trade here to set up these bodies, right? We have lost a little bit of learned Draconic value, but... What is this Tempo Mage? Yeah, it's a APX Voids Tempo Mage. Played to Legend, and in fact, I think Top 100 Legend as well. And it feels really cool so far. I like it a lot. Ah, hand of it all, disrupting our... Big brain plays here. First, we could just Solarian it to death right now. Feels a little bit worse with the Observer, just because it gets less value. Could just stall it out with the Ray of Frost or, or double Ray of Frost even as well, but that also feels a little wonky. I can't do like Chinvala coin Ray of Frost, Ray of Frost until next turn, right? Oh, no, I can't. What am I saying? I can do that. Shinvala coin, Ray of Frost, Ray of Frost. Oh, that's actually pretty legit. Let's do that. Let's freeze both. Well, maybe I actually still leave up the 2-2, eh? It's not that likely to contest the 2-5. I'm getting the value out of Shinvala anyway. And this way, I have a chance to maximize the observer value. Like, if he's smart, he'll just trade this in anyway, or, or maybe try to push some face damage, right? But, um, yeah, I like this better. This way, this dies. Not that threatened by the 2-2. Two, two. He has four damage like we know about, so the Chinval living's unlikely at best, I'd say. Unlikely at best, but certainly possible. I mean, he may have like True Silver or something too, which you feels awkward. Zeph is pretty good, I have to say. Shadow Word Pain is really solid. Did it not give him Shadow Word Pain? Zeph does die to the Observer though, so that it's kind of like a free bonus. Surely it gave him a way to kill the Chinvala. I mean, Zeph may not think the Chinvala is the primary threat, though. Zeph may think the Snow Elemental is the bigger threat and give the Shadow Word death, right? Because he doesn't know Chinvala's card text. He thinks Chinvala is like a 2 5. Oh my god. Wow. Huh. Well, I didn't expect that. That was sort of the le least likely scenario I expected, if I'm being honest. That was not what I anticipated, chat. Well, now we're playing from ahead a lot, which makes me almost a little nervous, to be honest. I feel like we're a little too ahead. Does he run any kind of AoE clear in this deck? Like, he already used his Zephyrus, so that's not there for AoE. Um, maybe he has, like, a... a Librem on its own is not good enough right now. I guess it actually is with Wild Pyromancer. Librem of Justice would be six mana right now. Uh, those are not it. He can't even use his face right now. Shadow or Death is what he got, but he just chose not to use it. Okay. 9-11. Arcane Breath here. Kind of wonky. Do we clear McGurgle? Yeah, McGurgle is actually totally fine if he gets it. I don't care at all. Um, I need to use all three of these spells anyway, so let's just go ahead and rip them all. Instead of pinging. If I ping that, then I lose. I can't kill it, right? Well, I could if I timed it right, but I wouldn't be able to cast all the spells, so. Okay. 
I know that looks wasteful, but it's about summoning the 5-5, five five, right? Since we presume he doesn't have anything to clear it. It's down to 7, so we have a lot of lethal outs in the deck. I mean, with fireballs now. I mean, clearly he's got to clear this board, too. I guess he's going to 9 in most cases. All right. What's it going to be? Well played. Victory. Ooh, nothing's what it's gonna be. <laughs> He's just murdered. Man, Chinvala, when he hit Chinvala early in the set, it flies, dude. It, feels, it just absolutely flies. Boys,